Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Game of the Max and part one of our Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiserreich, the Empire of Japan. So, this has been one of the more requested uh, series right now. Uh, we had just finished the German Empire, which was awesome. It was a huge success. I had a, a lot of fun uh, playing with Germany and the conservative Germans. Uh, and today, we will be playing the Empire of Japan, and we will be looking to restore... Uh, Emperor Hirohito onto the throne with the Shawa Restoration. Uh, that's that focus right there. Um, starting out, we are social conservative. We are a dem uh, democratic government. Um, and we start with three main, uh, not focuses, but three main national spirits. Uh, narrow gauge railways, which gives us resource efficiency gain negative 15%, but it makes our railway construction speed plus 15%. Rampant landlordism, so we lose 0.15 political power, um, 20 consumer good factor, and negative 15% stability. That's really rough. And then Montetsu profits, we get plus 2.2% resource gain efficiency and plus 2.8 factory output. So let's jump on in to the game. With the uh, shower restoration, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure the government becomes national populist so uh we'll load in and we'll see what we got starting out i can't believe i forgot uh how to say national focus there for a second or national spirit there for a second i was like man what's that you know sometimes sometimes your brain doesn't work as fast as what your mouth's saying so you know he's like uh like a scratch in a record. <laughs> so, made myself just look like a complete fool. But it's alright, it's alright. Fighting a land war in Asia, we will be doing. Uh, we'll, we'll be playing this a little bit different than, uh, of course, it's going to be a lot different than what we did in Germany. Uh, on the case of we are a hundred, we're an island. So we're going to play a little bit different. So, if you guys would like to read... This is uh, Recovering from the Lost Decades. You can uh, look at Path Guides, how to play. Uh, not going to do that, but we'll start up. Um, we start out with a pretty large military, if, uh, if I'm not mistaken. We'll get into that in a second. Let's get our research going. We want that. We want this. Construction. And... I usually go with the Type 3s, the uh, weapons equipment. I'm actually going to go with... Uh, I better just go with that. 148 days. And let's do the Kukura Arsenal. I probably butchered that. But uh, civilian factories. Let's get some civ factories going. We don't have a whole, whole lot. Um, I do want uh two fuel silos put in the reason we're going to do that is uh we're going to start training up a an enormous navy uh our type 99 infantry equipment will go with them we have the osaka armor army arsenal uh, then nagoya arsenal and the type 95 hago tank will do just do Nissan, and I will 100%, unless I need these, I'll be 100% getting rid of these. I don't care for uh, light tanks. And in in real life, um, Japan had some of the worst tanks in the war, so... Need to be building convoys. Well, when we're able to, I actually want these guys to finish out what we've got constructing here. We need to get some planes going as well. All right, and we are already low on rubber. We won't worry about the rubber right now. Mission production. Yeah, it's, it's fine. All right, national focus. Can't do anything just, well, we can do this one. Don't think we can do anything else. So, to get the shower restoration, we have to have the National Security Act fail to pass, 
and the Restorationist Army officer staged a coup. So that's what we need to have happen. So that's what we're looking to get. Let's do the revised Imperial Defense, and we'll get these units up. I can't do anything there. Not enough manpower. We have the Republic of Formosia, which is uh, Taiwan. And, of course, we have the Republic of Korea there. Jump up to four speed. Let's start on up. Um, let's see. What are you guys? Okay. I want my... Marines in one group. There's the assassination of Alexander Krinsky. Voting rights in the Legation Council. The Legation Council was formed in 1928 as a result of the Americans' intervention in the Zili Fengtang conflict that they believe was going to spill over into open war between ourselves and the Zili and their German backers. When a passenger train was attacked by Chinese warlords, America saw the opportunity to mend mediate not only in order to create a more prominent solution to the instability in the east but also enshrine the open door policy in china which allows all power equal access to chinese markets consisting of all consisting of all official concessions in china as well as a 30 mile neutral zone the legation cities officially known as the international mandate for the chinese concessions also as a forum the legation council for the various powers with interest in china to coordinate the policies better as the foremost power in the far east we naturally able to vote on the council and both further our chinese agenda and Stein, our enemies. A perfect arrangement, plus 25 political power. Uh, Mantetsu declares record earnings. That's right there. Japan has a presence in Manchuria ever since the conclusion of the Russo-Japanese War, and in the years since, our holding over the region has greatly strengthened. The negotiations at Shanghai in 1928 forced the world to recognize our right to a free hand in Manchuria opening boundless opportunities to our citizens under the Kwantung Army's watchful eye. Our control is not absolute, however, and Zhang Zulin's Fengtang government is not always cooperative. It is, or it is fortunate for him that our desire to safeguard our profitable peace in Manchuria remains paramount, alongside our hope that his government will one day act as a vehicle for our greater Chinese ambitions. For these reasons, the heart of our efforts in Manchuria is the South Manchurian Railway Company, or Matetsu for short, which has become responsible for developing and exploiting vast or, yeah, exploiting the vast velocity of the Manchurian economy, propelling the region to become Japan's primary source of coal and steel, as well as a producer of over half the world's soybean supply. Today, Mantetsu has announced its highest profits to date. Manchuria is truly a cornucopia of opportunity, gain plus 3% stability, and the Fengtang government gains economic exploitation. Opinion of them changed by negative 10%. Well, suck it up, buttercup. We have old Transmere here with Alexander Kolchak. He was the uh, leader of the White Army in our timeline, in our, our real world timeline. Let's see what they go down. Boris Sanikov has been assassinated. So now you have Viktor Chernoff, the Social Liberals, Totalist Charter. All right, we have the dissolution of the Diet. Uh, the fourth term of the incumbent Imperial Diet, uh, elected in 1932, has ended. The Prime Minister Anaku Suyoshi has called for a general election to happen as soon as possible. Very well. And then, of course, there's the Totalist Charter. Edward VIII has been crowned as King Britain or King of Great Britain. King of Great, yeah. <laughs> Did not uh, not say that. It didn't sound right when I said it. It's the imperial policy. I haven't done that yet. We got the long war doctrine or the short war doctrine. You can do uh, unlock war plan decisions, allowing for specific against specific countries for a short duration, or allowing for powerful buffs once specific goals have been achieved. I kind of like that one a little bit more. Let's do this. Start the third circle plan. Uh, for we get two carriers and two battleships. We'll begin construction at starting at forty percent. Uh, already built. 
is pretty good. I do, before I forget, let's see, carrier task force ship design. I guess we can do a couple of those. And then also some escorts. You are what, an improved cruiser haul? Let's do the Yokosuka. Then more for our carrier task force and then our submarines, the Mazuru Naval Arsenal. Uh, for our fighters, we can do Mitsubishi. For our naval bombers, we can do uh, Nakajima. And if I do absolutely butcher the pronunciations, I apologize. Uh, Victor Chernoff appointed as the interim president in Russia. We'll see what happens with that. Yeah. Afghanistan declared war on India. That usually happens. Uh, let's see. We'll keep going. We've got Black Monday. Mein Gott. Uh, world tension increased by four. And then, of course, the fifth Athlo the fifth anglo afghani war um what are our units look like uh we'll trim that up most definitely and then you all yeah i want both of you all to switch to that i want you three to switch to that All right, home run on the home islands. Ever since its in introduction to Japan a few decades ago, baseball has grown to be one of the most popular sports across the entire country. Despite this, until recently, the sport has generally been regarded as primarily a casual game that people play in their free time or as part of a school curriculum. This all began to change a few years ago when the media, media Mongol Shurikai Matsutoro organized a team of Jap Japan's best players to compete against America's finest team, including Babe Ruth and Jimmy Fox, taking part in a tour spanning 12 cities across the nation. The concept of professional baseball quickly managed to grip the nation. This has led to the day's news of the formation of Japan's first professional baseball league, the Japan Occupational Baseball League, made up of seven teams, including the Tokyo Giants, formed from the team who competed in the prior tour. A, de a debut se season split into three parts is expected to begin in the next few weeks. With such high public demand for the professional games and, of course, significant ad advertising support from Shuriki's, or Sh Shuriki's newspapers, this new league is expected to be a resounding success that will entertain the nation for years to come. Give it a few weeks and we'll be beating the Yankees with ease, plus five, political power. Beating the Yankees, huh? I like it. Let's see, let's build you up. Black Monday reaches the shores. Eventually, as expected, the domino effect of the economic failure in the German Empire has reached our empire. We are not affected as our neighbors in the region due to our quite grand economic isolation from the German markets. But we still were touched by it. The Zabutsu and our banks will have a hard time for a few months. Uh, this was expected. Negative 3% stability. Uh, our Marines will go under... Sigiyama Hajin. And we will use the Orthodox Syndicalist elected in France. I was looking for. You're a commando. You're a drug user. Let's do you. Imamur Hitsoi. Hitoshi. Our main field marshal. Uh, we got a mission from uh, from Norway. We recently received a territory delegation from the Kingdom of Norway. The country seeks new trading partners. It's not a part of the German Reichspact that dominates trade on the European mainland. They seek trade, among other things, dried fish, and have offered us very favorable rates on Norwegian merchant shipping. Most of our trade experts are in favor of accepting, while well, few oppose the idea or oppose the use of foreign shipping and moving Japanese goods. Uh, we won't refuse a good deal, lose 20 political power, and we gain 75 convoys. I think that's a pretty good deal. 
uh, Hata Shunroku will be our main field marshal. Our top generals will be Tanaka Suzushi. Um, and Yamashita Tamayuki. And then uh, Uda Kenkichi will be our uh, gentleman in charge of our cavalry brigades. Uh, the illusion of Queen Hegemony has shattered. That's what this says in the background. Uh, the general election of 1936 after the cons er, constitutional restoration in 1926 and the ensuing political re realignment, two parties came to dominate Japan's politi or Japanese politics. The conservative Reichen Shiyukai, the Associate of Friends of the con Constitutional Government, and the liberal Reichen Mencieto, Constitutional Democratic Party. The Siakyu he won an absolute majority in 1932 general election, but the support in the countryside and traditional voting base has been declining. As the political atmosphere turns against the ruling party, the Mainsieto, formerly known as the Kenshieke Constitutional Government Association, has consolidated its urban voting base and is beginning to expand into the countryside, hoping to break the Siyuki's absolute majority in the diet. A new third player in the 1936 general election is the Shakai. Tatsuyoto, Socialist Masses Party, founded in 1933 by Social Democrats and Trade Unionists. It is time now to see if Siyuki has re have retained enough seats to ret uh, retain an absolute majority. Let's, uh, I think they have to... We can just say they've defended their absolute majority. The Queen Hegemony has shattered. Let's move these troops. The on quick to put one left Kumatang, Marshal Wu, Pifu, Bax, and Queen. Alright, so now the assassination of Katayama Sen. Born in 1859, Katamana Sen was one of the more senior syndicalist leaders in Japan, known as the father of Japanese syndicalism. Exiled to the U.S. after participating in an earlier social democratic movement, Katayama witnessed and was influenced by Jack Reed's syndicalist activities and the development of the IWW into the CSA. Katayama returned to Japan after the Constitutional Restoration of 1926 and founded the first illegal syndicalist party in Japan, the Roto Nomento Labor Farmer Party, and after it was declared illegal in 1932, he helped found the current Shakai Chatsutsu. Yesterday, while visiting Kyoto to congratulate Shaikai Tetsu member Yama, Yamamoto Senjai on his election, a gang of three right wingers stormed his office and beat the two men with clubs. Yamato, Yam Yamamoto survived, but Katayama, age 76, never gained conscious and died earlier today. This will be bad. Shane Queen Tangao declared. I mean, I guess it depends on who you are. This is our main fleet here. Let's see. We'll use you, Yamamoto Isakuri. We'll put you in with him. Put you in with him. Your submarines and all right, the rest of you are all submarines. Then we will make a scouting fleet later. And let's see, let's get Dago Tadashagi, the Sea Wolf. We'll choose you. I want you all to start to train. And the only boat we have in our reserve fleet is. This gentleman here. And we'll put Hayakataki Gengo in charge of our spot spotting fleet. I need to watch out for my fuel. Because it pretty much is going to eviscerate <laughs> immediately. The Shenqing Tango declared war. Arthur. So we're going to get this Navy built up. Our Navy is going to be our strongest force. Sorry, I had a 
get a drink of water from my water bottle sitting there. Australia and Afghanistan has made peace. Now we have the start of the third circle plan finish. Syndicalists take over Australia. Or Australasia. Mm, I don't like it. We can scrap and build program. The zero. Hmm. Let's do this one. Uh, expand the SNLF. The SNLF Marines, the Special Naval Landing Forces. Uh, I would like to get that done. We can trigger instability in Tingjing. We have 15%. Let's do it. Arthur Horner elected chairman of the TUC. In the death of Pius the Eleventh, we need ex uh, Gout seizes control of Ecuador. We need uh, excavation one. This is Tangjin right here. Pius the Twelfth has been elected the Pope. We're at 36 fuel. I just have to pay a little bit of attention to the fuel. We don't want it to dip down to zero. The Ninth International Congress. If you guys would like to read that, you can pause for them. Uh, most of these, they're the same thing that always pops up. So we've we've seen them quite a bit of times before. So you guys have no stability. You're doing the suppressed regionalist sentiment. Shanghai says, yes, great news for Shanghai. The mandate has agreed to give us green light to further operations in Tingjin. It seems that their economic woes were just too much to maintain security in the city. Regardless, this greatly benefits ourselves as we can now begin garrisoning more troops in Tingjin, making way for an eventual takeover. The dominoes are starting to fall. We can begin building up our military forces in Tingjin. I guess this is equip it. Uh, reinforce and bolster the police command. We'll just bolster the police command and we'll equip them. And then uh, we'll do everything like that. So we're about, well, we got a little bit left to go on the SNLF. Do you want to see Chief of the Navy? A famine breaks out in Sichuan. We can do decisive battle, commerce rating. Well, these are the two experts. Naval speed, not really worried about that. Capital ship, screen attack, or we can do naval air attacks from our carriers. Well, we are heavy, we have a, a large amount of carriers as Japan, so Fushimi Hirosaya, congratulations, you are now in charge of the Navy. There's Hirohito right there. He'd be, what did he say, he was born in 1901. So he'd be 35 right now. Kurt von Schleichler appointed as the Reich's Chancellor. The Red General. And there's a Republican Revolution in Iran. There's the White Peace with Afghanistan. We've expanded the SNLF Marines. I kind of like the idea of the long war. So let's see. If we do the long war, we reformist air force gains air research speed plus 10% air experience. If we pursue a short war, we will see the following bonus at traditionalist air force. So it does make a difference. We pursue the long war, we'll unlock this template. We gain a hundred army experience. Production cost. Well, the short war seems to be everything seems to just be cheaper. Like you max max produce everything. Improve recon, breakthrough, and resistance. Reconnaissance, not resistance. Support equipment's cheaper.
Hmm. I don't know. I might have to think about that. Let's see, Marine, no. The production costs makes everything a, a lot better. Naval War Games, we'll get on that right now. Let's do the Scrap and Build program. Put you all back. You all to go there. probably need to do something here they most definitely need to kind of focus up our air force here a little bit because it's spread everywhere as small weak parties would probably need to build a concentrated air force uh, friction within the Japanese left the shock of the assassination of Katayama Sen initially united the Shikai Taoshuto in solidarity against the white terror but this unity did not last long the party was originally structured as a coalition of various social democratic and syndicalist organizations united only by their goal of socialism socialization of the economic structure with the proletariat at its foundation before his death katayama had steered the party away from the ideological clashes but deprived of his voice the party was forced to confront the question of its precise ideolo ideological position and infighting soon began throughout the spring of 1936 the nationalist syndicalist nichiroki japan labor clique embraced totalism and vigorously expanded its membership not only from within the party at the expense of the moderate Shimenike social democratic clique but also from without notably from the Shimenike controlled Niho Roto Sodome Japanese General Federation of Labor an helpful struggle between the two parties soon broke out the Nikur Ni Nichiroke accused the Sodome of being run by the labor bureaucrat establishment and the Sodome and the Shimenike in turn accused the Nishiroki of hijacking labor organizations and turning them into their puppets. Uh, Nishiroki members were expelled from both the Sidome and the Tetsuyoto earlier this month, and the group is now operating independently. Popularity in totalism plus 2%, popularity of cynicalism and social democracy negative 1%. Let's equip the garrison, and then we will uh, do the uh, reinforce the garrison, so. and then we can stabilize it. So. We fooled you, Legation Council. Japanese influence is growing. The Australasian Guard Coup. So the Republic of Australasia rejoined the Entente. Under Prince George. Well, most people don't hate us. You guys actually somewhat like us. I don't think you get a choice of joining with us. Uh, let's see. The May 15th incident, the Prime Minister has been assassinated. A group of 11 radical junior naval officers connected to the Nishiroki broke into the official residence of the Prime Minister Inuki and shot him dead. They claim to have done so to avenge the death of Katayama Sen and the murder of some workers in Nagata. The incident has greatly shocked the nation and the Admiralty Board, mortified by the incidents that had already been at court martial and through the investigation of the radical activities within the Navy. Appoint Suzuki Kisaburo to replace Anuki. We gain negative 10% stability, and our new advisor gives plus 5% stability and plus 20% war support. So the socialists have come knocking. Let's go into our naval tree. Let's get the better sonars. Go with you. I do want to elevate the Marine Corps, but we won't do it just yet. On top of that, I want to there's the scrap and build program.
let's get the, let's get the zero researched. Uh, stop attacking reliability for our rifles. Production. We're looking good everywhere. These will take a, a while. Let's see if we expand these. It's just one naval dockyard for 30 political power. Manuel Carlos assumes full control in Argentina. Do that. They need 20% support for the China agency and they need 5,000 in one infantry equipment in the stockpile. We most definitely need to have 5,000 in one infantry equipment. Uh, Let's get the dispersed industries going. The Feng Tang sent aid to Sichuan. Our allies in the Feng Tang government has recently decided to send grain to Sichuan, both to help alleviate the famine there, but also improve their legitimacy in the eyes of Lu Shang. The grain will be sent down river under the Feng Tang flag, which could cause problems. We should pressure the Feng Tang government to fly our flag, which would then would uh, no doubt prevent any hostile armies from attacking the transport due to fears of reprisal. Uh, pers uh, pressure under the Japanese flag, or... Uh, I mean, if they do get attacked, we can just, you know, go to war with whoever attacked them. So, it's their choice. Let's see, Black Monday has left deep scars in the global economy, in particular on the Deutsch, Ostrich, Blank, and Shanghai, which seems to have fallen victim to unscrupulous business practices and possibly insider training. Our delegations are now seeking guidance on how they should vote concerning the proposed bailout of the DAB. Uh, well, that's the German bank, so... No. Security debacle, or the debacle debate. The atmosphere in the Imperial Diet has become increasingly tense in recent months and has now reached a frightening level. Member members fear for their lives, so progress is just a matter of political power, our personal pride, but of survival. There is a growing consensus that the current sec security laws aren't enough to protect democracy and that more is needed. The May 15th incident may not be allowed to happen again. A comprehensive law and act must be made. Empire of Japan completes the National Security Act. And then we have to make sure HIT fails. I see. Okay. The National Security Act. The infamous Peace Preservation Act was introduced in early 1924 by the Tanaka regime in the midst of the Red Scare following the Kanto anarchist uprising in September 1923 and a syndicalist assassination attempt on then Crown Prince Hirohito in December of that year. The act drastically curtailed civil rights and symbolized the draconian rule of General Tanaka. It was repealed when the regime was brought down by the Constitutional Restoration of 1926, but the Prime Minister Suzuki Kisaburo now wants to reintroduce it, or rather a slightly reworked version of it under the name National Security Act. He has faced strong opposition even from within his own cabinet and public opinion has sunk to a new low, but Suzuki believes its reintroduction is a necessary step to counter the rising tide of radicalism, and he is not alone in this view. A cross-party parliamentary group led by Nakajim Shike of the Sigiaki and Adachi Kenzo of the Mencieto has declared the act to be the last bulwark of constitutional government and supports its passage. The House of Peers and Privy Council are also in favor of the act. We can pass it, or we can we cannot in good conscience go against public opinion, change the popularity of national populism, plus 5%, and we lose 100 political power. So it sucks to lose that much political power, but we have to go this way. Vote passes in the Legation Council. Yeah. Pooey to you as well. Uh, we will put you all on the border. And I'm going to let you all train for a minute. Uh, now, fuel. Let's see, trade, oil. We can get it from the United States. Two factory works of it. Uh, the Legation Council votes on providing aid to the Sichuan province. We'll approve it. Government under fi fire. I'm surprised that the failure to pass the National Security Act has led to a backlash against the Prime Minister. The conservatives and bureaucrats who supported the bill feel betrayed by Suzuki's backing down. The House of Peers and Privy Council, disappointed by the government's inability to take to take deal with the recent wave of radicalism, 
has lost all their patience with the cabinet. Suzuki's days are numbered. Gain negative 1% stability. Fat done with the Naval Aviation Department. Agility and max speed for all of our Navy. Let's see. Restore, uh, restoration is Army Officer Station QF. Yeah, I passed or failed. Um, re examine the Naval Doctrine. Let's do zero. A coup in Siam. News emerged from Bangkok today. The group of officers and intelligentsia calling themselves the Kana Ratsonan or the People's Party is sixthly taking control of the government. Key government officials are now under uh, arrest, and the king and his heir are said to be safe and looked out by the new government. Uh oh. Let's see what happens there. Thing declared order on the Xing Queen Tango. Tang Queen has been capitulated. All right, restorations, restorationists and centralists, the current political instability and the ineptitude of the political establishment have rekindled the flames of the restorationist cause. While Lieutenant Colonel Hashimoto's ever secure, uh, ever secretive Sekiraki has been historically hotbed of anti establishment thought in the military, the recent years have seen a surge in the membership of General Araki's Kadoa. The Kadoa or Impila Way faction has gained much momentum through the organizational efforts of its radical junior officers who openly share their belief in, in anti-capitalism, anti-oligarchalism, and anti-parliamentarism. Usually from unprivileged and or humble backgrounds, members of these officers have experienced poverty from childhood and observed what they see as the evil influence of favoritism, which fits with their view that the establishment has seized power from the emperor as leading the nation into the abyss. The restoration of the solution is simple to sweep out the ruling establishment and restore all power to the emperor and form their initiative initiate a complete national reform they are opposed by a loose coalition of more moderate army officers whom they derisively call the tosea or control faction but the even these so-called moderates are reaching a breaking point the greatest operation in the coda comes from a group of officers who are close to the central military leadership who while supporting cooperation with the establishment have come to believe in the need of remilitarization of policies or of politics this will be trouble changing paternal autocracy plus two and national popular Turn autocracy plus four and national populism plus two. The vote passed in the Legation Council and the resignation of Suyuki Kasabiro. Abandoned by everybody, the humiliated Prime Minister resigned when the peers passed a censure motion denouncing the cabinet and with the lukewarm support, former Home Minister Mizuku Rentero was appointed in his place. Ominously, the Privy Council and its ultra conservative chairman, Baron Hiranuma, in issued a statement declaring that the parliamentary impotency needs to be replaced by a more stable system, lose negative 5% stability, and we appoint advisor imperial diet, which is political power gain plus 8%. Let me get a drink of water real quick. Sorry. Speaking, talking as much as I have been, yeah, you start your mouth starts to get dry. These guys trained up a little bit. We'll actually probably move you all. Back to the island. I just want you all to have some resources. Construction one. Let's do excavation one. economic ties to Japan you're still in charge you got regionalist outrage you got warlord era inadequacies education vacuum divided governance wow creation of the international avant-garde let's see where we can if we need to uh, Stabilize Tajin. We need a couple thousand more rifles if we want to uh, support them. Let's see, we got the zero researched. Still trying to think if we should do the long war or the short war. 
We get one year ahead penalty for infantry weapons. Weapon equipment research plus five, support equipment plus five, soft attack plus ten, breakthrough plus five, but it costs more to build. So we do the long war, everything costs more, but it's better. If we do the short war, everything's cheaper to build, but it doesn't get a boost. Hmm. Kind of like the cheaper, but at the same time, you know, if, if even if it's more expensive, it's better. Let's, let's see. Proponents of the Long War Doctrine argue that if Japan is to survive the struggle among nations, Japan must prepare for total war, perhaps even greater in scale than the last. To this end, we must establish a strong industrial base, equip our soldiers with the latest armaments, and ready the populace to storm for the storm to come. Or, pointing to Japan's weak industrial base, lack of resources, and position in Asia, advocates of a short war strategy, believe that Japan should instead prepare to fight a short, decisive conflict in the style of the Russo Japanese and Sino Japanese wars before us, and to this end, create a large standing army capable of inflicting devastating defeats early in the war. I know for a fact that uh, even though I'd like this to be a short war, the war in China will not be short. <laughs> I I can just tell you now that they're not. It's not going to be like a bow done type of deal. Have Toyota start building trucks. Pause that. The election of Minzo Rentaro. The resignation of Suzuki stunned the Rikin. CUK and an emergency convention was called the bureaucratic Tokonami faction named after Tokonami Tikijiro, chairman of the pro Tanaka Seje Honto during the Tanaka dictatorship and its aftermath had been crippled by the loss of its leader leaving the reactionary Takajima faction to take control of the party from his new po post as director of general affairs Nakajima enjoy or, yeah, enjoys decision making powers over the entire party although he has stopped short of crowning himself chairman instead of appointing current prime minister and Tokonami aligned Mizuno Rentero. Finally, some stability in politics. Gain plus 5% stability. And we appoint Minzo Rentero, which gives us political power. Gain plus 15, but negative 5% stability. Let's see. Get rid of you. actually want to Mongol aristocrats take over Mongolia. Japan's longest summer, the Japanese government has found itself effectively paralyzed. The downfall of two successive Seiki prime ministers has severely weakened the power of the new prime minister and Hironomu's open scheme to destroy the parliamentary system has only exacerbated the political turmoil. Turmoil extremist groups are growing by the day and the military is becoming increasingly frustrated. Several high-ranking officers in the army have hatched a plot to overthrow the civilian administration and save the empire. The conspirators have approached Army Minister Heisei Sinjuro for his support. The future of Japan lies in his choice. Negative five percent stability. Uh, let's see. And we will add nothing right now. But we'll just wait. We'll just wait. close to having enough rifles the black white and red government in germany so slicer failed and now the conservatives have taken over in the reichstag uh, japan's longest day after 10 years of political disgrace the army has seized power again this time in a coup d'etat parliamentary impotency has indeed been replaced by a more stable system the ultra conservative baron Hernamo kishiro has played his hand well he is now prime minister and his state of martial law has been declared throughout all of greater all of the greater japanese empire banzai you have political change to centralist, becoming the ruling party, change the popularity of paternal autocracy plus 10%. And now we have uh, appointed advisor Hironome Kishiro, which gives us resource gain efficiency plus 15% and re resistance targets negative 10%. All right, once we finish the long war doctrine, we should be able to do the uh, Shawa restoration. The Ming insurgencies winning. The new power struggle, the coup was carried out by a broad coalition of units, but few did so with the enthusiasm of the Kota junior officers and their associates. Indeed, 
They were happy enough to do their utmost to overthrow the ever inept elected government, seeing the parliamentary system for what it was, a plutocratic capitalist institution. Little has changed under the new government. Hernomo and his ilk and the Toshi have those controlling frauds have gleefully taken their leading roles in the new regime, and the Coda have been sidelined for their radicalism, so the junior officers concluded that they and Japan as a whole have been betrayed. Once again, the establishment has seized power from the emperor and is leading the nation into a different kind of abyss. A new, stro uh, new power struggle is beginning. Will this ever end? Negative 25 political power, and we get the events. The Coda counter coup. Uh, Kitsuse san and Nan Shore. Uh, 1936 Olympic Games have come and gone, and we have reason to be proud. Our athletes have won us nine medals, setting a new national record. Yet some of our victors have been problematic. The athletes, Kitsuse Sun and Nan Suru, or as they prefer to call be called, Son Kishun and Nam Song Yong, did well in the marathon race. The former even went in first place, but they have overall failed to show enthusiasm proper for subjects of the empire. Our emperor, between the dropping their heads during the national anthem, hiding their flag on their chest, and insisting on being called Korean over Japanese, many within our country have been ashamed of their behavior. In contrast to the popular attitude within Chosen, largely supportive of their actions. As a result, the athletes have been banned by the central government for participation in future events as well as placed under surveillance. It would be a shame if their victory was used to promote instability within the empire. The foreign office has also attempted to ensure sympathy abroad remains minimal by lodging a complaint with the Irish government and the International Olympic Committee over a perceived lack of care towards ensuring that our athletes properly represent the empire. They have not yet responded. How unfortunate. There it is, the Coda counter coup. Earlier today, the Coda junior officers from the units in the Tokyo area have staged a new coup d'etat. Earlier this morning, 1,400 officers and enlisted soldiers set out to take control of key communication and administrative fac uh, facilities. The Army Minister, the General Chief Staff Office, and the Metropolitan Police Headquarters, the Prime Minister's Office, official residence, and the Imperial Diet buildings were all take quickly taken, and the Imperial Palace went under siege. In the afternoon, the Emperor himself addressed the soldiers and announced his official support for the revolution. To ensure proper guidance this time, General Araki has recommended the Prince Kono Fumero for the position of Prime Minister. Kono has connections with very intellectual publicists and other notables who are sympathetic to the restorationist cause, expected a final way to create a Japan that is more in line with Dakota's view. We've got the coup is successful. We retire Kiso Kunyaki and Mutsu Akira. Politics will change. We got the IGA restorationist, national populism plus 15%, and now well, we keep the same uh, gentleman. So now we have the Shawa Restoration. Reports from Tokyo for the past few weeks have been scarce, but now few can doubt that Japanese democracy is dead. Following the failure of the government to crack down the national uh, nation's nascent nas syndicalist movements, conservative officers conducted a coup d'etat, ousting the prime minister and establishing a military dictatorship. But even though this has proven temporary, officers along with the rival restoration factions have launched a counter coup. As Straits of Asia, uh, the Straits of Asia's greatest city run rutted with blood, they have announced the Shawa Restoration, a restoration of ultimate power to the Emperor and the rebirth of Japan, free from the corrupting influence of syndicalism, democracy, and Western influence. Sono Token. Very, very good. Let's see. We're about done. we got 19 more days on the Long War Doctrine. We have enough to send legations. Council gives arm shipments discovered. We're trying to get the uh, national populist strength up there in the legation council. Let's see, Navy must definitely be doing the fleet and being. Or maybe base strike with a strong focus on our carriers and their support of the enemy. Yeah, carriers. That's what we'll be doing. Even though these carriers are not that great. And we do have quite a few, few battleships as well. And there's the Long War Doctrine. Here's the Shawa Restoration. So, although the Restorationists have can. Uh, in the Taisei Yukon Saike. They remain far from united. Kono himself having to thread the needle between the demands of the Kota, Sedo, and Don Rushikai factions. Should we prioritize one faction by taking multiple of their focus after one another, we will gain specific bonus tailored to that faction, but increasingly lose stability. 
and counter trans balance in the order in which you complete the shower restoration so you will leave more st stable coalition though we move lose out some aforementioned bonuses uh you will get these bonuses for our uh, prioritizing if you do the Dushkai to the left gives political power Sado in the center gives party popularity and the coda to the right gives army experience and you get the event kono femero secures support start that here's the first convention of the taisei yokun sakai uh, or the the two uh taisei yokun sakai or imperial rule Assist Ass assistance society is structured as a new political core institution that will represent every aspect of society unlike the old polluted uh, plutocratic imperial diet it will branch out into every administrative level from a hamlet to perfection or perfection and create a core group consisting of talented individuals from academic cultural economic governmental military political and all other professional occupations in theory by penetrating to the grassroots level a direct link between politics and the people will be established by having every important interest group represented as its core it'd be possible to coordinate and develop an effective national policies this is in theory the verse uh, convention, the three main blocks have emerged. At the center is the Kukumin Shinshin Sudun Undo, the National Spiritual Mobilization Movement, or SEDO for short, headed by none other than Prince Kono himself and composed of reform minded intellectuals and politicians. Many of their proposed reforms were first outlined by the Shawa Kinkyoko, Shawa Research Association, a political workshop founded at the behest of Kono. An offshoot of the workshop, the Shawa Junishke or the Shawa Comrades Association has become the de facto public relations arms of the new government, showing that it achieves its goal of attracting the brightest and the most influential minds of Japan. And, or an outside of the arrangement is the Koda, or the Imperial Way Faction, General Araki's click, uh, or Arakai's click of res reserve and active restorationist military leaders. It is they who brought the new regime to power through their counter coup and who are now left at the sidelines. Special care must be taken to keep them happy. Many questions, Kono's. Uh, forceful agenda and even question the purpose of the Taisei Yokun Kono has de designed the Taisei Yokun as a central nervous system of the upcoming new system, combining all legislative, executive, and administrative powers into one. Kono assured that the old Meiji constitution would remain in place and that the Taisei Yokun would not replace the imperial diet, but the very idea of the political leviathan has met with fierce opposition. This will be the foundation of our new nation, plus 50 political power. So we can start doing this. We can send weapons to our allies. And we can secure. So it's begin to prepare. It's time to prepare the end and arm them to fight for our cause. The only issue getting the ends of their allies location, power presents an easy way to smuggle the weapons in. Uh, so we're trying to support I got you. All right. We'll do both of those. Destabilize them, and then we'll send our weapons. That uses all of our political power, and it takes all of our weapons. We're back to only having a thousand, which is fine. Make forty-eight a day. Let's see. Four army focuses, more military factories, and then uh, modernization. Okay. Let's see. Passive sonar. The Asian Express runs from Port Arthur to Harbin. For the first time, Matsu Asian Express Streamline train will be running from the trip of Port Arthur or the tip of Port Arthur to the northern city of Harbin at an astonishing 130 kilometers an hour, putting it among the fastest trains in the world. The journey took a mere 21 hours and 30 minutes. The locomotive wonder bears cars outfitted with heat, air conditioner, and luxury lounges for even third-class customers, as well as its very own signature cocktail served at the bar. While Menzetsu's unmitigated success has, has given some reason to cheer and may strike envy in Beijing, others can only view Menzetsu's ad uh, advancements with growing concern. Not all in Manchuria are properly appreciative of Japan's attempts to help develop their nation, and a few have openly protested that they call a blatant act of colonialism. Still, the launch of the line is a powerful testament of Japan's effort to bring modernity to both Feng Tang and all of Asia as a whole, regardless of what some dissenters may think. Three chairs to the co-prosperity. We gain 1% stability. Let's get the active sonar figured out. And let's see. Max range, but fuel usage. Max speed. Let's do the screens and carrier, anti-air, light battery, hit chance. Sounds good to me. 
operations secured in Tianjin. Our troops have finally gained a stranglehold on our concessions within Tianjin, granting us a formal base to consolidate our military operations in China. Well, this is certainly not enough to allow passage to Fang Tang. The military high commander already exploring options to destabilize the city and give our troops legitimate reasons to enact a full-scale occupation. Uh, according to all, according to the plan, we will begin to stabilize in Tianjin, giving our troops a per, uh, prerogative to invade. Or this is going quite enough cancel. Uh, no. Radio research. Do mechanical computing. Let's get support strikes a lot better. Pause right there. The shallow restoration. After 15 day long convention, Prince Kono has successfully advanced his agenda and secured support in the Taisei Yukon Sky. Now, as the premier, Prince Koei seeks to implement his reformist vision, but at the same time come to a common understanding with those who oppose him in the restoration of his cause. This may be a more difficult task than expected, and the institution of the Taisei Yukonsuke has come under fire from the most outspoken in the Dakota. Nonetheless, Kone recognizes that he will have to make concessions in order to stay in power, walking a tightrope of politics so the entire structure won't come crashing down. We talked about the differences between the groups. Now we have we gain plus 25 political power, and we appoint advisor Kono. Kone Fumimaro with the effect of plus 10% political power gain and plus 10% stability. So let's see. Do fleet and beam makes our battleships better. Battleships they are forced to be reckless when deployed at sea. Technically, I think Japan, yeah, because Japan lost all of their aircraft carriers uh, to the Americans later on in the war. This does make carriers better, but this also makes carriers better. Battleships, port strikes better. Uh, Force to be reckless to deploy at sea. Let's see. I'll let. Uh, I'm not going to click it right now. I can wait and save some naval experience right now. But I'm going to let you guys vote on that, whether we want to do Fleet and Bean or the um, Carrier Focus. We can work through the Dongche, destroy the uh, destroy degenerative individualism, appease the other factions, allow us to pass one reform focus without incurring any penalties. Upgrade your second in command, replace the Imperial Prince with a man with a thousand friends. The paternal autocrats will join the coalition. One country, one party. Division training time. Okay, let's see. Let's get. Intelligence Agency. Start getting dockyards built. We only have five civilian factories building right now, so we're hurting on that front. Zhang is driven from Jinan, so the Ming Gang insurgency has come to power. Not what we wanted to see. The Royalist coup in Ser Serbia. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen that. Romania joins the Belgrade Pact. Greece does as well. But I don't think I've ever seen that. Paternal autocrats taking power in Serbia? No. Huh. Rural Tours, Foundation of the Belgrade Pact. National Populists. Oh, I mean, that's pretty cool. Like I said, I've never...
never as long as I've played Kaiserreich, I don't think I've ever seen Serbia restore the monarchy. They always go with the uh, uh, liberal side of it or something. Terrorist attack in Tingjing. Earlier today, an explosive site was detonated in the port city of Tingjing, killing scores of civilian and wounded many more. The police have claimed that this is simply a case of anti concessionist violence. So the native Chinese are adamant that darker forces are at work, with some wondering if there is any relation to our recent involvement in Tingjing. Obviously, the military's claim it has nothing to do with them. It's nothing to do with us. Right, right, right. We didn't do that. We sent those weapons. We need to wait for national populism to hopefully take over. Gaining some. Open to the Abshir City Folk Museum. Right, the marshal holds on, so Philip Baton still in power in France. Open to the, yeah, much excitement to join in Eshabira today as the Abshir City Folk Museum opened its doors to the public. 2,000 archaeological and ethnographic objects collected by, you know, Mayor Yoshi or Yoshio. The museum was des designated by Yoshia Tano, a pupil of the esteemed American architect Frank Floyd Wright. The artifacts in the museum date from the Japanese Paleolithic through the Jomon and Zokujomon period up until daily life during the Shawa era, including materials related to the Setsumon culture, Hotsuke culture, and Ainu. Proud day for the nation, plus five political power. We got growing Japanese influence. Uh, the new national diet building completed after some delay due to the political turmoil in the last decade. The new national diet building has been completed today, constructed entirely of Japanese materials, with the exception of the stained glass door lock and the pneumatic tube system. It stands to the tallest building in the country upon opening this afternoon. The door, or the roof and tower of the building, might have been inspired by another entrant. Third prize winner, Tekishu Shinshei are believed to have been chosen because they reflected a more modern hybrid architecture than the purely European and East Asian design proposed by other architects. The ministry er, sponsored a public design competition in 1918 and 118 designs were submitted for the new building. The first prize winner, Wantana Bay Pukso, produced a design similar to End and Boxman's. The diet building was eventually constructed between 1920 and 1936 with a floor plan based on Fukuzo's entry. Hopefully it was worth the wait, plus 10 political power. And hopefully we start to gain more influence over here in the legation councils, or legation cities. Floyd Olson was elected president of the USA. Pretty rare to see that, if I don't say so myself. We can appease the coda, eliminate party politics. Don't they join us there? Upgrade our gentlemen in favor between friends, and we can add an end to the excess. Hmm. Technically, this would be better for this one. Um, Paratroopers, backbone of the army. Let's just establish triangle divisions. New field. There's so much to do. Do phase out the Arisakas. Our bread and butter rifle, the Arisaka, has been. Reliably used rifle in the past several decades, but has fallen behind the latest advancements in warfare, in part due to its bolt action design. Therefore, we must upgrade our weaponry to more powerful and more efficient semi automatic rifles. Doing so will ensure that our infantry stands the test of time and triumph over the most advanced militaries of the West. All right. So we're at 21% influence. Keep building that influence up. Bulgarian royal dictatorship. Now, the Kingdom of Spain. We got the Spanish Civil War going on. We got 
one people born. We got Carlos Spain. They joined the Entente. They joined the Reichs Pact. They joined the International. Syndicalist in the Baradia Commune. Interesting. Oh, you guys hate us. So I am. You don't like us either. Hetman Skorpodinsky flees Ukraine. Can the Osfall exist without Ukraine? So now you have the Ukrainian People's Republic. Gross. Trying to figure out if I have any. You technically don't like us either. Republican victory in Brazil. I think Transamir is really the only people that like us. <laughs> Mustafa Kamal sees power. This dispersed industry. Dude, dispersed industries too. Alright. Well, that's going to be the end of episode one. Um, there's a couple of things that we uh, talked about in the episode. We're going to ask if you guys uh, will put in the comments whether we should do base strike or fleet and beam. Um, other than that, I think that was pretty much the only thing I have would like you guys input on. Um, but I hope you all have enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.